Hey guys, a lot of you are um, asking about where somebody got an SVG for something. Chances are this is all that they have done. So you really don't have to go to Etsy and buy an image that you can create yourself in Design Space and make it your own. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Google and find a tree silhouette that we like and we're happy with. Um, find something that has enough branches, whatever it is that you're looking for. I'm just going to pick a couple of them here. Uh, and it may be something that you would pick. It may be, maybe not. But this one here, this one will be easier to clean up just for purposes. But you, you see that you can, I hope you guys can see this. I have it set. Um, let me just go and see if I can find one that's a little bit bigger than that. But you're just going to search for a tree that you like, that you could use, um, a silhouette. Um, anything. I want something that's got like a branch out on it. This is good. I like this one. So find a tree that you like, okay? And I am going to download that image. And it's in my downloads right here. Um, it starts with tree. So I'm going to come back to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to hit upload. And then I am going to upload the image. And I am just going to drag that image right in. Okay. And I am going to select complex so that I don't lose any of my detailing. And I am going to hit continue. Now I'm going to take my magic wand up here in the top left corner and I am coming over here and I am going to remove all of that white background. You want to see it like this, okay? And then I'm going to hit continue. And this looks good to me. I'm going to save this as a cut image. I can change this print and cut to a cut, so it's okay. However you want to do this one. And I'm just going to name this a tree. And then I'm going to save it. So I've named it. I've tagged it. I'm going to save it. I am going to select it and I am going to insert that image. And here we go. And I'm just going to make it bigger. Okay. And now we need a heart. And you can use the basic heart here or you can go and get a heart that you like better um, in your images. Let's just go heart. <clears throat> I, I have one that's my favorite I've purchased. I like this one right here. This one is Anna's Seasonal Soirees. And I'm going to select that heart. You can pick any heart that you like. Okay. And I'm going to insert that. Okay. And I'm just going to, I may only need, she, the one that you saw, she had three or four hearts. You may only need uh, I mean, she had several hearts. You may only need three or four. So just kind of duplicate it and figure out how many hearts you need and where you want them to go, okay, on your tree. What branches you want them to be hanging off of, things of that nature. I'm going to save that for a, actually, I am going to duplicate this. And I am just going to hide one so I have an extra. I'm going to duplicate it again. And then I am going to take a circle. I know it looks crazy, but you can do this in just a few minutes. Um, and I'm just going to kind of... I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to get myself a lower branch off of this. I'm going to select that circle in this tree, and I am just going to well, I say I am. What is going on with my Mac here? I must have hit the wrong button. Okay. Holding my tree and my shift button and get my circle, and I'm just going to slice. I kept hitting my control button. I just want that piece out of the way. 
I'm going to delete that. I want this branch right here. So I am going to I'm just going to select it. I don't need that whole top half. I'm going to slice it again. And I can get rid of this. Don't need it. I can get rid of that. And I'm just going to bring it down here and get rid of those couple of small pieces off that side. I'm going to slice it. And I may or may not need this, but if I need it, I have it. I'm going to slice that. Just kind of clean my branch up just a little bit here. Remember, you can only slice two layers at a time. That's why I'm not selecting this whole thing, because you'll see slice won't light up. I just need to have just two layers selected. Now I'm going to select all of that. I don't want my heart in there. Now I'm going to get rid of all that trash. And that way if I want to extend a branch out or flip this or do something else with it, I can. I may not need it. I might need it. It's I might want to put it. My computer's talking to me. I may want to add in somewhere. So I have a piece of a branch. You can do it any way you want. Like I said, I'm not going to need it, but if you want it, that's how you can get it and match it up. Okay, so select all the hearts that you need. Say you need four. Maybe that's all you need. And place them wherever you want them in the tree. And then I'm just going to duplicate another one. And this takes time, and that's what she was telling you. It takes time. You're going to have to decide where you want everything. I'm going to put that heart right there, and I'm going to slice that out of the trunk. And get rid of that. There, that way you have that. And I'm going to make this. I don't know how big she had that. I'm assuming that dish was at least 10 inches in width. So I'm going to make that a pretty good size in a range and move it to the back. Then you've decided on the size you want your hearts, where you want your hearts. You'll need to make, that's what's going to take the longest part in deciding how you want it, where you want them. I'm going to duplicate it and have one large one in the middle maybe. Uh, with an initial instead of down here at the tree. And if you've already sliced out of your tree, you can contour down here and take it out. It'll be there if you need it and won't be there if you don't. So once you've decided on everything that you want, I'm just going to try to make these look a little cohesive here. I guess I like these in maybe here. Here. And that's not in the real world. I would take more time and do this a little bit more. So I'm going to duplicate one of these hearts and I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. Okay. And uh, if you have sure cuts a lot or something like that, you may need to skew this a little if you're doing it in design space, but you can create a shadow layer and get a perfect fit there. So I'm going to align these. I'm going to center them and I just skewed it a little bit and got it out of there and I'm going to slice. And you can do it this way. Now you can put your names on this or you can do it like this. If you're doing it like this then you just need to do one and duplicate it. Move these out of your way and just replace it. Actually, I want to hold those out of there. And I want to get rid of that. That's my center. I want to duplicate that. Now I have my four replacements. You'll see what I mean here. Just a second. Let's put this one back down here. I am going to, once I have all my hearts where I want them, 
I am not going to do that one in the middle. I want to just move that out of the way for now. Once I have everything where I want it, have it lined up how I want and situated, you're going to select each one of those hearts. And you're going to weld them. Then you're going to take that and your tree and you're going to slice. Okay, and now you're going to get rid of your trash. Okay, and then you're going to put this heart back in its place where you had each one of those. And you may want to leave your heart in there just until you line up. Oops, I need to move that to the back. That's what my problem is. There we go. Just so you know where to replace. And like this one is going to mess up a little bit right there on that heart and make it look flat across there. So I'm going to select the tree and I'm going to contour that piece out right there. I'm going to get rid of it. Very easily done. There's another one right here. So I'm going to go back to my tree, going to contour, and then I'm going to get rid of that piece right there. You can get rid of several pieces if you want. Uh, if you don't want this one to take and interfere with it, all you have to do is get rid of those leaves just by contouring. That's all you have to do, guys. That's where this one goes. Right there. So once you have them all lined back up, you've contoured all the spaces and everything that you want, then you can select it and weld. Now you have those names where you can put your names right in there. Um, like I said, if you want to do a big one in there, you can do that too. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial purpose, but there you go. Um, you can then do your text. And what I would do is I would keep these two separate. That way you can change it up for different people if you wanted. But um, you can put your names in here. I'm just going to put one name in just to show you, or two names. Um, let's do this one. And of course, in the real world, I would pick fonts and all of that good stuff. But I'm just showing you guys how you can do this on your own. So I could have that name there and this name here. And then what I would do is after I had all my names lined up, I would move my tree out of the way, select all of my names and weld those. That way when they cut, I know I can place them in and they're going to place in exactly where I need them to be. That's basically all there is. You want to add a swing. Uh, I don't know if there's one in Design Space. But there's probably a tree that you can even use in Design Space, so you don't even have to upload. Um, you could probably contour that out if you wanted a person on your swing. You could do that. That's an uploaded one that I did. Let's just let's take this. And I am going to hide that, hide that, hide that, hide that. Oops, hide that. So that's basically all I need. I'm just going to make this a little smaller and decide where I want it. weld. And I have my swing and my tree. So there are several things that you can do. You can add yourself a little bench, a ton of stuff. You do not have to go and purchase files. This maybe took a few minutes. Of course, you're going to play around and you're going to do more and make sure your hearts are like you want them before you weld all this together. That's where your time is going to come in. You're going to have to do that on the bought file also. So here it is for free. You guys have a wonderful day, and if you need more help with it, just let me know.